Hey guys and happy Tuesday. I've just finished tidying up the living room. I've removed our bed. We are no longer camping out in our bedroom slash living room and we're back to having just a living room. I am feeling really motivated this morning. I actually have gym clothes on. Look at this. T-shirt, leggings, trainers. I have not dressed like this in too long. I think about three months since I last went to the gym. But Nate and I are going out this morning. We've got a boogie boot camp session at the park where I'm not quite sure what's involved, but you take your baby along and you do some exercise. And it should be really, really good. Except it's been really, really hot. And apparently today is going to be a bit cooler. Some forecasts say it's going to be hotter. Some say it's going to be stormy. So who knows what is going on. We're going to go. I hope we're going to do it. But if the weather gets too hot, then we're just going to call it a day and come home again. But I'm quite excited. I'm really looking forward to like doing exercise. I don't think I've ever felt like that before. This is new, but I really desperately need it. You, mister, do not look like you're ready to go and do exercise. You look fast asleep. How can you haven't been fast asleep for me all morning? And then the second daddy gives you a cuddle, poof, out like a light. I'm gonna drag you away from it, little one. Daddy's got to do some work. You gotta come with me. You've seen how light his eyebrows are looking. They definitely don't match his hair anymore. I'm wondering if this means his hair's gonna get a whole lot lighter. Don't know, people keep telling me that his dark hair is going to fall out because he had it when he was born. Apparently that means it falls out and it's starting to show signs of falling out, like with finding bits of hair around. But he still has loads of hair and he's still six weeks old, so hopefully he'll keep it. But if he's getting light eyebrows, then he doesn't want to have like blonde eyebrows and dark hair. So maybe it is better it comes out. Poor baby's growing up and changing on me all the time. I get a lot of enjoyment for dressing this little guy to match where we're going. So at the weekend he had on his um, safari romper ready to go to the zoo but today he's gonna wear Dumbo because we don't have anything that's kind of gym related how cute would it be if we got him a little tracksuit ready for next week oh, I love it are you gonna be a little Nike boy are you or would you rather have Adidas they must do them in baby sizes well done with our class and this little guy is exercised out on you baby right back to the car. So if I wasn't red faced enough yesterday, I certainly am today. As was, I can't even talk, I'm so tired. Um, that was a really good session. It was really, really gentle, which was exactly what I needed. It's been months since I went to the gym. He was a star. He slept in most of it. He woke up kind of in the middle, but he was just happy lying in his carry cotton, just chilling out and watching me. And then he fell asleep again. So it was fantastic. I'm so glad it was cooler than it was yesterday because I wouldn't have come yesterday, it was just too hot. But it's good, it's quite overcast today. And see, there is not one spot of blue sky out there. We did well. Our first bit of buggy boot camp, baby. I don't think you can see him. Yeah, I promise he's in there. Um, yeah, first bit of buggy boot camp was great. We'll definitely be coming back next week. Hopefully, the weather will stay nice and cool again next week. But we'll have to see. Right, we have to rush home now. I think I'm gonna try and get to the supermarket quickly. Um, we need to pick up some, just little bits, basically. And then we have the health visitor coming this afternoon to give him another way. See how big he is now. I weighed him yesterday on some unofficial scales and he was 10 pounds seven. So it'd be quite interesting to see what the health visitor makes of him. I can see you in there, baby. There you are. We are home. We've been quickly showered and changed and made some lunch. We are once again having ham sandwiches with nibbly bits, which is yummy. And, 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 even got the washing out on the line that Chris did for me earlier. Hey, Shep. Trying to keep the hot air out of the house today. The health visitor has gone after Nate's six week check and it was really cool. This is probably the last time we'll see her for ages. I think they don't come back till about 16 weeks now. Might have even been later. I don't know. They don't come back for ages and ages and ages. She's weighed in one last time and he is 10 pounds four. Like, that is nearly 50% more than he was when he was born. And that was only six weeks ago. If he, like, adds 50% of his weight on, like, every single six weeks of the rest of his life, think how monstrous he'd be eventually. She gave us loads of information about baby weaning, and that's about it. Kind of asked how he was, and um, asked if he was, like, tracking people with his eyes now, if he could, like, go like this, which he can. Um, and he starts to smile. She asked about that. Um, she was asking if you can like mimics your face, um, so 
quite often Chris tilts his head like this and then Nate copies him um, which means apparently that it won't be too far, too long until he can start sticking his tongue out at us like copying and like mimicking us sticking our tongue out at him he'll start to go mm. she did leave us with a gift we got one of these a book start book bag which is like Nathan's first school bag how cute is that got three bears on the front reading a story I haven't seen what's in here yet so I'm going to open it up now and find out what goodies he's got a guide to for grown-ups for books this is quite cute this is an adult guide to why you need to give books to kids but it's done in like a kids book style ah oh, Elmer's friends and row 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 your boat I love books Nate's got a couple he hasn't got very many so we're always looking to build his library my next job for today if my eyes are even open um, is to do some work in the garden because it is a beautiful day and there's no excuse not to be outside particularly because at the moment Chris is sitting with Nathan so he's all entertained inside so this is my before shot the main thing I'm going to be doing is sorting out the front of the garden here and mowing the lawn this stuff it's all kind of overgrown bushes at the back that's going to wait but my biggest concern at the moment is the fact that these weeds have got seed heads on and I think that's what's causing my hay fever all those issues when the back door's open problem is and the main off-putting to actually getting this done is the fact that it's going to make my hay fever go crazy while I remove all this grass but needs must Chris has just come outside to let me know that he's got to go back up to work now so I am trying to connect the baby monitor up and I'm going to keep just keep an ear out basically for Nathan while I'm out in the garden so I don't want to disturb the little guy it's too hot for him outside anyway Shep are you going to go upstairs? and just need to connect this to my iPad there we go ready to go and I can keep an eye on him while well, I'm outside don't know how much time I have to get this done before baby wakes up so I'm going for high impact I've cleared all long grass out of here and I've started to clear along here this is my second of these boxes you see there's a little plastic box underneath I unfortunately I now have to try and pick this up take it down to the compost bin but my arms aren't really long enough so my head is going to end up in that oh this was a bad idea wish me luck I hate hay fever as I'm pretty sure baby's about to wake up oh my god my nose I must look a state right now um, I'm going to call it a day on the back garden I'm going to see if I can quickly go and do the lawn in the front this bush has been trimmed down but it's really spiky so I can't take it down more than this all the long grass has been removed from here it's all been removed back to about here in the back garden and the lawn's been done garden isn't exactly neat anymore oh still still not neat um but at least i feel like we might be able to use it again now okay right that has been only about an hour and a half my face can't take any more the lawns are done both front and back some of the garden is trimmed or weeded or degrassed or something i don't know i can't keep my eyes open anymore so i'm gonna get chris to come and put the lawn away from me because i can't lift it and i'm going inside hey so stealing my baby it's been about an hour and a half we've been in the garden and this little guy is still fast asleep I hope he stays asleep a little bit longer so I can recover from having done the garden it would be absolutely perfect I just need to cool down a little bit god my cheeks are so pink now I'm inside I can actually see what sees myself in the camera couldn't see myself before I just couldn't open my eyes properly it was really bright out there and the hay fever as well this class did have ice in it but it lasted all of about 15 minutes I think before it completely melted the weather forecast I saw this morning said it was going to be only about like early low 20s today maybe about 22, 23 I don't know what it actually is it's got to be way more than that our living room is still 28 again you look a bit fed up by all this heat mate are you getting too hot? yeah it is too hot for me too you don't do very much these days, do you?